Now that your fashion invention candidate is clear, let's define its unique selling points. You make a self-assessment first and investigate your client's preferences second. There are two exercises in this video lesson. Welcome to Fashion Business Mastermind, the mentorship program that helps you quit fear, get focused and streamline your fashion business. I'm Julia Antofiev, fashion inventor and manufacturer, 15 years in business and your mentor on this wonderful journey. Stay tuned until the end of the video and be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get started. Please download your own USP preferences exercise from under this video and work on it. To brainstorm your own product preferences, please answer the following questions for your best seller. 1. What is your best seller? <laughs> 2. What do you absolutely hate about this garment category? And 3. How do you want it to be? Let's use perfect tights as an example. Perfect tights is a pair of stirrup leggings that helps women beat fatigue, have more energy in life and turn their fitness program to success. Question number one, what is your best seller? My best seller is leggings. Question number two, what do you absolutely hate about this garment category? I'm not asking you what do you hate about your best seller. The question is what do you hate about all other products from the same category available in the market? In my case, the question is what do I absolutely hate about leggings? <laughs> I hate a lot of things about leggings because getting a right pair is almost impossible. One, most leggings don't stay in place and always slide down. <laughs> you need to pull them up every hundred steps. It is uncomfortable and it looks weird. Two, most leggings either don't peel and look like shiny plastic or look opaque, which I love, and peel like crazy. Three, most leggings have a too short back rise and too high front rise. So I can pull the front rise far over my head while back rise does barely cover my butt. <laughs> Four, most leggings very easily rip. 5. I'm dreading sagging knees. 6. Can't stand peeling surfaces and animal hair and dust clinging to the surface of black leggings. 7. Not to mention color bleeding, sweating and itching. On the top of that, I don't like if a legging does not have a stirrup. Wearing a legging with a sock is the ultimate ugliness. What else? I don't like the fact that most leggings are either casual or fitness oriented. I love cross-functional garments and want my leggings to be wearable during exercise and with casual or formal dress. Once you've figured out what you hate about your best seller's garment category, the last question is how do you want it to be? How do I want my tights to be? They have to be shape enhancing and flattering, height belly, height uh, fat rolls, height skin bumps, have a push up function, keep stuff in place. They have to have great fit, no sliding down, no rolling waist, no sagging fit, no losing shape, good sizing. They have to feel nice to the skin, not too hot, not itchy. They have to be durable, not easy to rip. They have to be suitable for gym. Uh, for casual and formal situations, the sock ugliness uh, situation has to be resolved. The moment you ask, what do I hate about my best-selling garment category and how do I want it to be? This is the moment when you start turning your best seller into a fashion invention. All points you hate about a garment category and all improvements you desire are your points of invention. The chances are high that your best seller already has those points of invention, otherwise why would it sell that well? Now that you know what unique selling points are important to you, let's check what unique selling points are important to the market. What features do your clients absolutely hate about this type of garment? You will need to improve those features in your fashion invention. And what features do your clients absolutely love about this type of garment? You will need to make sure your fashion invention incorporates those wishes. Please download the market USB preferences exercise from under this video and work on it. To do so, you will be running an Amazon research. Depending on your geographical market, please use your local Amazon web page. Go to Amazon, type in your garment category, sort by average customer reviews and study all reviews customers have written for these garments, starting with 5 star reviews, then 4, 3, 2 and 1 star reviews. What are customers happy about? What are customers unhappy about? Document your insights. These are your points of invention. Let me show you how I am doing it. I go to Amazon.com because United States is our market and type in leggings for women. I sort them by average customer reviews and start my investigation. 
I open the first product and go to the 5 star reviews. I read all reviews for at least 15 to 20 products. While doing your investigation, document all the ways how people express a certain pain and a certain love. For example, I see in my leggings research that people mm, love comfortable and soft leggings. Some call it comfortable and soft, others call it buttery soft or naked feel. Document the love or pain in the first column, question number one. In the second column, question number two, document how many times did people mention this unique selling point. In the third column, question number three, state whether your best seller complies with this market preference. In the fourth column, question number four, state if you want the positive feature to be part of your product. 43 women in my research said that they like the soft feature of the leggings. My bestseller does not have the naked buttery soft feel, so that's a no for the question number three. I don't want my product to be buttery soft in the future either, so that's a no for the question number four. By the way, why not? There is always a reason for your decision. Buttery soft fabric is mostly brushed nylon. Brushed nylon is not suitable for shaping and firming products or mild compression products. My product is a mild compression firming stirrup leggings. If I wanted to stay this way, I cannot make them buttery soft. You will make this type of decisions for all unique selling points latest in the conversation with your manufacturer. In the case you have a yes for the question number three or four or both, please answer the question number five in column number five. Namely, does this feature align with your mission and purpose and why? The next unique selling point is not see-through fabric. My best seller is not see-through and I want it to stay this way. So yes and yes for questions number three and four. Does this feature align with my mission and purpose and why? Yes, it does. Why? Not see-through fabric creates comfort and good looks. Comfort and good looks create positive self-image that induce positive emotions. Positive emotions release endorphins that help combat anxiety and depression and put a woman into action mode. On the top of that, positive self-image allows focusing during exercise. In this way, I've documented all unique selling points mentioned by women in positive reviews. Most of them are already a part of my bestseller and I wanted to stay this way. I follow the same procedure for the pains. 13 women complain about leggings falling down, sliding down or being not squat proof. Does my bestseller solve this market pain? Yes, it does. Do I want to keep this feature? Yes, I do. Does this feature align with my mission and purpose? Yes, it does. Why? Same reason as mentioned above. <laughs> Once I'm done researching reviews for 15 to 20 products, I add my own unique selling points to the list. At the end, select love category and sort your findings by amount of mentions from largest to smallest. After sorting, you can instantly see what features are most important. Softness and comfort mentioned by 43 people. Good fit mentioned by 29 people. Side pockets mentioned by 25 people. Do the same for the pain comments. You see that keep falling down, sliding down, not squat proof is the biggest pain, exactly my pain number one, followed by see-through fabric and easily torn leggings. People get inspired in love and are bonding in pain through pain and its relief. This is very important to understand. If your garment embodies elements that people love and solves existing pain points, your future customers will love, love, love your invention. By the way, if Amazon does not carry the product category you are working with, do your research on a platform that sells your product category. See you in the next video lesson. You will need to do one more exercise before you can make a summary of your fashion invention. If you're not in the program yet and this video inspired you to join Fashion Business Mastermind, comment I want in in the comments below and grab your insane 14 days free trial today by following the link in the description. You get access to all Fashion Business Mastermind exercises by joining the program. Much love, Julian Tufiev.